Please understand. This truth I am sharing with you as if I am talking to me. So in the TV ads, you see it. I have seen in the TV medicine ads, ads on medicines. They say, this is the medicine most heart surgeons prescribe for their own family. Means what? The authenticity of the medicine. See, if you are telling the outer world, marketing it. 80% marketing and 20% truth. If you are giving it to your own family, 20% marketing, 80% truth. If you are telling yourself, 100% truth, no marketing. So I am telling this to you as if I am talking to me. This is what I am doing. This is what I have done. This is what is my life. So I am talking to me. I am talking to you all as my very own extension. If you are above 60, don't bother. It's worthy. Take one year. Just contemplate with this. Make this as your priority. Contemplating continuously this one idea. Read this literature, spiritual literatures. Internalize these ideas. Live. Contemplate. Don't say, oh, I tried three days to meditate. I am not able to do. Relax. 60 years you accumulated so much of nonsense on the head and how do you expect it will disappear in three days? <laughs> now really, we accumulated so much and how can it disappear? How will it disappear in three days? No. Take one year off. I tell you it will really work wonders on you. Same way if you are below 30, take one year off. Your whole life will be new. If you are below 30, take one year off, work on this Samadhi. One more thing, when I say I am responsible for what I am saying, I am responsible for what I am talking, I have seen the benefit of this in my life. In my life. Wherever you may be staying, wherever you may be living, that's not a problem. One year, put this as a priority. Working on this, Samadhi, working on this truth. If you are below 30, above 60, spend one year with this truth. It will really make wonders. Between 30 and 60, have little suffering, then you can do. <laughs> and <laughs> you may not listen even if I say, because the blood is hot. <laughs> See, below 30, they have some openness. They have some openness. And they can try new things. Above 60, they know there is no other way. <laughs> now nothing much to do. And if you are between 60 and uh, 30 and 60, always there is a problem. The, all problems are between 30 and 60. <laughs> and how much ever I try to tell them, ah, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, and everything is going well, after all, nothing is wrong. So, then what to do? Working on Samadhi really pays. It just so many things which you can never imagine you will be doing will be happening through you. Will be happening through you. Just yesterday I was talking to another devotee in Dallas. She was telling me, Swamiji, now whoever comes around me they all feel that I am different. Everybody feels I am radiating something. I can never, I have never expected this will happen in my life. Even I can have this space of life, this part of life in me, in my life. I am talking about one devotee's experience, one disciple's experience. I don't know how to tell you. The thousands and thousands and thousands who are living and going through and radiating, working on Samadhi. Understand, when you start itself, decide you will take this one chunk, one year, six months. Only then, you will see the whole transformation. Usually all these people do, I will try from tomorrow onwards. And after three days, how you start doing exercise, seeing TV ads. When you see the TV ads, I brought something. 
some ads you see and immediately they, they go on saying call now call now call now <laughs> and naturally you call and you bring all the things what are you need and only here I saw that a very nice way of marketing just four payments of 39.98 dollars <laughs> So only the 39 dollar is seen in front of your eyes. And you don't read, uh, see the client's small word, four payments. And after all credit card, you don't know. Actually, it's a very systematic method. If you count and spend, you know the value. I have seen my own disciples. In India, they don't spend much and here they spend. I studied why this fellow in India, he will not spend. Why is he spending here? Because in India you have to count and give the money. So naturally, it stops you. When you have to count, you need to handle by a big bunch. And you say, oh God, this much of cash is being, leaving me. But here, you, are, you don't have the glory at all. Just five. <laughs> Whether it's $20 or $200 or $200,000, only on five. You don't feel the difficulty. <laughs> really? You don't feel the whole beautifully dis design that you don't feel the difficulty. You just buy everything. All the uh, goods arrive and the advertisement that the ad shows before and after pictures so glamorously. Ta -ta 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 then what do you do? Express delivery. You don't even want to wait for 20 days. Whole life you did not move your body. <laughs> and now suddenly you think, oh, no, 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 I don't want to wait for 20 days and all. Express delivery. $30 value free. That's another one thing. And everything has arrived, express delivery, it's lying in your garage for two months. <coughs> you don't have time to open. And after you open and try two times, you think, you look at this side, that side. That ad was saying, <laughs> it will change the body. Anyhow, at the most you do for one week, <coughs> then it's again lying down in the garage. During the garage sale, you sell it for 20 30 percent off. That's all. <laughs> Nothing much happens because there's no clear idea. Let your spiritual pursuit not become like that. I am not giving you any TV ad. Call now. Take up one year. I am not giving you any TV ad. Understand? Decide now itself. At least one year you will play with these truths. You will work. Only then you will see a substantial, strong, clear transformation. Otherwise what you will be doing? It's like a two days you play around. Third day you just say it's okay. I think that Swami came. And that Memory also is not there, not much. And two days, then over. Don't just miss it. I tell you, one year is worthy of your whole life. It's like replacing your inner software. Best thing can happen to a man, human being, is yogic hardware and Vedic software. Yogic body and Vedic mind. Yogic body, the body which believes, I am just me. There is no restriction. There is no conditioning recorded in bio memory. It just moves. It just lives. Still, still, I travel with this cloth and with this lifestyle only. Only when people remind, oh, Swamiji, it is too cold, you have to wear cold, this, that, they are all right. Otherwise, the body is so beautiful. See, cold is nothing but your conscious resistance which happens in your skin for the weather. If there is no conscious resistance in the skin, it will just, weather will just pass through your system. See, you are embodiment of nature. You are embodiment of nature. The energy or the prana which is in the cold air, the same prana only is inside you. Just day for yesterday, I saw in the history channel, one person was, he was able to maintain his temperature, even being inside the ice cubes. He was put inside the ice cubes. 
He comes out, his temperature is able to maintain. The heart rate did not go up. He was able to maintain. He was saying because of the yogic practice, he proves. The doctor was saying he is a superhuman. He is superhuman here because the science is not known. The science is known. It is just science. Anybody can practice. It is possible. It is possible. The simple thing that whenever you feel the cold or heat, just see. See how you are resisting. How you are using your skin as a shield. Instead of using your skin as a window. Your skin is supposed to be window to the cosmos. Door to the whole existence. Instead, you feel always your skin is a shield. If you are feeling your skin is a shield, naturally you will create so much of stress. In every dimension, I am telling you. In every dimension, you will feel your skin is a shield. You are constantly, you are sitting inside trying to protect you. Understand, if your skin is shield, you are in prison. If your skin is window, if your skin is door, only then you are living. You are living. Whether you are living or you are in prison, this is what is going to define. This is what is going to decide whether you feel your skin is a window to the universe or it is a shield. One more thing. The prana which is there in the air and the prana which is there in your body is same. It is just same. Your ideas, no, 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 especially the ideas start in the young age. No, 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 this I have to resist. I will catch cold. This will happen to me. That will happen to me. It's the worst thing can happen to human being. Worst thing can happen to human being is conditionings getting into the bio memory. Conditionings getting into the bio memory. Understand? I am not asking you to go and play with it or break the conditioning overnight. You will not be able to do. But you can prepare step by step, step by step. You can reclaim your natural state. You can reclaim your yogic body, yogic hardware. It is possible. When I say all the below 30 people take one year off, I mean you will have yogic hardware. Now you need that. And Vedic software. When I say after 60, take off one year. You may not be able to do yogic hardware. It is too late. But at least Vedic software, that can be done. That can be done. That is possible. That is what I mean. Understanding the utility value of Samadhi. Once you understand the utility value of Samadhi, then you will start working for it. Here Padanjali is giving you, defining the first level Samadhi, Sambranyada Samadhi. The first level Samadhi, is describing Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Ashmita, Rupanukamar, Sampranyataha, Reasoning, Contemplation, Blissful Flowering, and the State of Pure Awareness are the characteristics of Sampranyada Samadhi. Reasoning, Contemplation, Blissful Flowering, and state of pure awareness. About reasoning and contemplation, yesterday we internalized, we understood. Yesterday I expressed few truths about reasoning and contemplation. Today, let's work on Ananda and Ashmita. Blissful flowering and state of pure awareness. Ananda, my favorite subject. I can say that is our brand. Whatever subject I may touch, I look through that Ananda angle only. The angle of bliss. I may be speaking on intelligence. I may be speaking on yoga. I may be speaking on tantra. I may be speaking on silence, I may be speaking on peace. Whatever I speak, 
connect, I connect it to the bliss, ananda. That is our branding, I can say. That's a essence of life. Here, Patanjali describes ananda as one of the important qualities which you experience and express in Sampranyada Samadhi, the first level Samadhi. Sampranyada Samadhi means the Samadhi which you experience through these four states. It's the first level. There is second level, Asampranyada Samadhi. Then he describes different kind, Sarigalpa, Nirvigalpa, different kinds of Samadhis, different kinds of spiritual experiences. 